Hi guys, Micro here. This is my loot from 50 Araxor. The money spider, as everyone calls it, lives up to its name in this video. I'm definitely going to continue doing Araxor every day after this video just because of how much money there is to be made. I put off doing her every day for a long while. Now I'm going to get into a habit of doing it daily just for that GP. It's really, really great long-term money as most of the things she drops can be worth tons of money like spider legs, but you need free spider legs in order to trade it for 130 odd mil. So it encourages you to keep doing the boss and do different paths in order to complete that leg and get bank. Either way, let's get into the video. The votes are in once more. And 50 Araxor won this one. Thank you to all 388 of you that voted on this straw poll. Always appreciate all of your feedback and all of your suggestions for future videos. Having this series just all purely your guys' contributions on these straw polls makes the series even better as I know I'm going to make a video that people want to see. As always, the next straw poll will be in the description if you want to check it out and vote on the new one. What we get, we get... Ah, oh, that's the ninja fix. They put loot values of how much you get from the bosses like Araxor and stuff now in QBD. It was only a 213k kill. Feels bad, man. Oh, I got a pheromone. That's a 2.6 mil drop. That's my best one so far. That's not bad. Yay. Oh, I got an, I got an eye. Yeah, I got a rare drop. <sighs> Two onyxes worth. Ah. Oh. 19 blue charms as well and some overload blasts. Yay! Let's get something good. Oh, I got a spider leg middle. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. The rest is really bad, but you know, spider leg. Yeah. Wait, well, two onyxes and a Araxi pheromone. 7.4 mil. That's nice. Wow, I like this. Thank you very much, Araxor. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. That's not bad. I'll take it. That's like 600k in a leg top. Uh. Ooh, that's not bad. <sighs> Give me something good. Uh, Triskelly MP, 71k reward. Uh. Let's go, boy. Uh. Araxor in general is pretty easy to kill. I'd advise using range if you've never killed it before. If you wanted to learn, the easiest way to do is range. All you got to do is at the start of the fight, start burning that web down. A really key important thing that a lot of people do not do is every five or so also attacks, Araxor will do a special attack. If you anticipate or freedom before this special attack, it is never going to be as effective. The swipe does not pull you in if you have Anticipate or Freedom active. The cocoon lasts for literally two ticks before you get out of it if you have Freedom or Anticipate. So all of these different mechanics she does are much easier to deal with if you're doing that cycle of Anticipates and Freedoms. It's really important to note that you want to be doing this as much as you can to keep your HP as high as possible and keep your damage output high because obviously if you're cocooned for a long time you're going to lose out on quite a lot of damage time as well. Throughout the week that I killed Araxor the paths were constantly changing. The easiest paths for me personally were probably 2-3 as it's literally just mind numbing how easy it is. As long as you can dodge that insta-kill spider, you're pretty sorted. But on this kill, it was path 1-2, which is my least favourite path, just because you have the instant kill spiders and the normal adds that she spawns, and it can be really, really hectic at times. So if you wanted to learn Araxor, I would not advise doing it on path 1-2, but if you could do it on path 1-3 or 2-3, then you're going to have a much better chance at killing it on your first try. Let's see what we get. 7 magic seeds and 17 blues, I'll take it. 
So as for my loot from Araxor, you got to remember a lot of Araxor's drops are untradeable when you get them, which then means they have a theoretical value of how much they would be worth. If you do the boss for a longer amount of time and manage to build your own spider leg or buy a spider leg and add the hilt piece to it. As for tradable items, I managed to get three onyx drops, which amounts to 14.4 mil. Three ceramic scale drops were also quite good. And the four pheromone drops amount to 8.8 .8 mil so that was also really nice the magic seeds really added up and the saradom in brew flasks added up to a very very considerable 6.1 mil obviously you have the really bad drops in there as well like the dwarf weed seeds but for the most part, the drops are consistently good and you're going to make a good amount of money per hour even without the hilt or the spider leg pieces. In tradable items, I had 45.4 mil as I actually didn't get any onyx bolt drops and only a couple of the rare tradable drops. But I got very lucky with the untradable drops. I got an Araxes eye and then I've got two spider leg pieces. You need three spider leg pieces to make the whole thing so I'm two out of three done and the whole spider leg is over 120 mil. This means that each spider leg is 40 mil plus. So just in my untradeable items I have around 90 mil if not more. As for the loot breakdown of the spider, 50 kills of total tradable loot was 45,444,702 GP. Although on the other hand, 50 kills of total theoretical loot, including my two spider leg pieces and my eye, was 141,575,239 GP. So I had nearly 100 mil just from those three awesome drops. This means the average tradable price per kill was nearly a million and it was 908,894 GP. But the theoretical average value per kill for me in these 50 kills was 2,831,504 GP. As you can see I got super lucky with both of those legs. The legs are just such a good drop because if you do a rank or enough you'll easily make that spider leg and make bank doing so. These 50 kills took around 7 hours in total as I was getting an average of 7 kills per hour. On easy paths you could get a bit more than that but you know when you have to do the darkness path to try and get that bottom leg or you get an annoying path 1, 2 then it's going to take a little bit longer and it averaged out to be 7 kills per hour for me personally. So seeing that this took me 7 hours in total, this made it 6.36 million GP an hour for tradable loot and the theoretical GP an hour was 19.82 million. So close to being 20 million theoretical GP per hour, like I said, spider legs OP. Araxor in general is amazing money and it isn't actually that difficult. Araxor is one of those things that you get really really scared doing or you're really scared to even attempt it but I found the first time when I attempted it it was not as hard as what everyone made out or everyone hyped it up to be and it was a lot more chill than I ever expected when I first started. Once I get my last leg piece which is the bottom piece I'll have another 140 mil staff in the bank to sell. So right now all of that money is theoretical but all it needs is the bottom leg piece to make that into a noxious staff which is 140 mil currently. Araxor can be a great hour long daily too. Considering it gets harder and harder the more times you kill it, killing it 7 times a day is a pretty good way to save on some resources and not worrying about it getting too hard. And obviously you can use your sharpshooter aura or whatever combat style you're using, the best aura for that, for that hour every day in order to maximise your kills per hour and your actual damage on the boss. This loot video just took me one week of doing one hour every day in order to get the 50 kills. If you can get into a good rhythm of doing a Raxor for an hour a day, Day, you can make some serious money thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this loot video give it a like if you did and subscribe for future content like this i just wanted to thank you all for the amazing support you've given me over the last week during double xp weekend i had so many people talk to me and so many people just having a chat and interacting about the channel about me about everything that has been going on and it's really really nice to see you all just talking about it in a good way and it's really really positive and makes me want to strive to do as much as i can and produce as much content as i can for you guys to enjoy at the highest standard possible
Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you would like to see in the future, anything that you think I may be able to improve on or make better for future content so I can make sure I can give you everything and keep going and pushing out as much as I can and keep the quality at 110%. Feel free to join my friends chat micro in game if you fancy the chat. Goblin Slayers with a Z is my clan. It's open to everyone and anyone. Feel free to PM me asking clan or the friends chat or anything if you fancied an invite to the clan. We're closing in on 250 members and it's really nice to see everyone interacting with each other and doing things with each other. So that's always awesome. The Discord will be in the description as well. Like I showed in my last video, the Discord can get packed at times and it's so awesome seeing everyone in there and just being able to have a laugh with you all. So if you fancied having a laugh, pop in, say hello. Always nice to see a friendly new face. And until next time, see ya.